Will it work? We're going to do a little something fun and try a new thing. Thing. <laughs> do you think we can make super cute Christmas ornaments wait, out of... Wait, hold on. Super cute? <laughs> Holy! That was Super awesome. Super cute Christmas ornaments out of tin can lids. Mm -hmm. Think we can do it? What do you guys think? I think we can. Let's find out. I think we can. can. <laughs> You're such a nerd. <laughs> In order to make really super cute ornaments out of tin can lids. I can't get over the super cute. <laughs> she thinks she's pretty clever. You have to get the it. lid off. The key here is using this special, it's kind of magic, can opener. It doesn't have a blade. If you can kind of see, look in close there, there's no blade. It's like black can opener magic or something. <laughs> and essentially, you know, you put it on and you do your thing. They know how to open a can. Well, I know, <laughs> but it doesn't leave a super sharp edge. It leaves right. a super clean edge. I'm mm -hmm. not saying you couldn't cut yourself if you're really trying. If you have, and they're all different. You really so, can't. I mean, it's, it's. Yeah, it's a nice it's, edge. It's pretty But unsafe. if you need to go in and get any edges down or whatever, do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that up to you. So, we've got a couple of these tin can lids mm -hmm. here. And you know what else, Sally, you were remembering? The cans themselves can be used. Oh, yeah. Because you can make what? Tin can luminaries. luminaries. We actually have a video you can scroll through. Last year, we made tin can luminaries with our decor mold. So and check tomato that out. paste cans, a little mm -hmm. bit smaller yeah. for hanging on the tree with the little tea, uh, the battery operated tea lights. Right. So cute. Mm -hmm. So save these. Now, first thing we want to do is I think that you could use a primer, but let's instead, I'm going to use the sandpaper and let's scuff it up. Just a little scuffage. Just a little scuffage. Make okay. sure they're clean. Wash your tomato sauce off of it, right? <laughs> get it. Any rough edges, get that down. And that is just going to be helping your chalk paint adhere to it. And then you scuff that one. We're using this awesome. Don't boss me. Don't boss me. Do as you're told. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> now. We're using the Crop-A-Dial. Remember this, guys? It's actually an awesome tool. And what it I is. love about it is the little... I was um, excited that we got to bring it back What's out. that called? Not a piercing, but... Oh, um, it's um, an eyelet. No, mm. that's the eyelet thing. This, oh. uh, this is a hole punch, essentially, it's but it's yeah. like heavy duty. So I'm going to use the little one. And that's what I love about this is the... You can get that nice little one. Now, I'm going to try to... Yeah. Do it from the side so that you the, can see it happen. I'm gonna zoom in when I. Easy peasy, super clean. Mm. I don't know why. Make sure you get it toward the top. Yeah. So that when you're putting your hook in, it fits. I don't know why, but that's satisfying to me. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Then I'm going to put a coat. Of Did you use the small one? I did. I like okay. the small one myself for this, for this or jewelry. Get a coat on. Ooh, that is satisfying. But they the, actually have done these through dimes. Nickels even. Nickels. Yeah. So these are really strong. Totally. I'm gonna get this coated. I'm gonna let that dry. Okay. So which design should we do? I kind of like Ooh, the chicken. This is really Christmassy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that Let's one. Let's do that one. Okay. So, so yeah. this is a piece. It's a piece of our large flexi stamp, or I'm sorry, our thin, uh, mounts. thin mounts, which are 12 by 18 for mounting your decor stamps. Mm -hmm. Always want to be nice and clean, but that way you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. My mind keeps going back to the clay. Don't, I'm just getting rid of those rib cramps. Okay, so let's use some of our black decor ink. Boom, boom, boom. 
This is pretty juicy. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's gonna be so pretty. You don't wanna shift. Mm -hmm. Just lay it down without shifting. Don't press too hard, just nice, even. Mm -hmm. Pressure without shifting. When you press down too hard, it, <laughs> they're so flat. When you press down too hard, it warps the design. So that just pretty? gentle, even pressure. Ooh, that is so pretty. What do you guys think? And look, the, the ridges of the can actually look Ooh, like part of the design. I wonder what, are what you would thinking? happen if we used, um, just kind of highlight those with black, you think, or no? That might be fun. What yeah. do you guys think? Think it'll work? Try it. I'm a little nervous. Should I do it? It's a tin can lid. True. Do it. That's the upside to dealing with a tin can <laughs> lid, right? Just open another can. Ooh, I think I like it. I do too. I like it a lot. Oh, this is fun. Mm -hmm. Try not to smudge because the ink has a nice... Oh, yeah. That is... That's really pretty. I think it's working. I do, too. Right? What do you think? Yeah, let's wet distress it. Do we have a... Yeah. Yeah. Get the damp Since paper towel. this is on metal, that won't take hardly anything at all. Mm -hmm. Just to just rub off some of that. Yeah, I like that. And get... That's pretty. Some of the coppery color showing through mm -hmm. here and there. Yeah. In fact, that would be really pretty with a red ornament. Ooh, yeah, it would. With the copper coming through or blue. I like it. I like well, it too. So I'm thinking you could do like a, a red little thin, thin velvet bow. Ooh, right? Oh, yes. That would be pretty on it. That'd be very pretty. And I think it definitely has potential. I'm thinking. Another idea that I think would be really, really nice, and I'm all about custom gifts, is using our typesetting stamp, which is an alphabet stamp, to stamp the like the first initial of a family's last name. On the back. And yeah, and giving them this as a gift. I think so. On the back, you could totally do yeah, the just a initial single, and then write the date. It's a definitely letter. a humble little ornament. Yeah. But I think it's cute. What do you think? Do you think it worked? Oh, I love it. You know what else you could do? You could do holes in the sides, <laughs> and you could string them. That'd be kind of fun. Ooh, like a... Right? Um, because I'm yeah. loving the idea of um, not trying to make it look like something it's not, but instead like mm -hmm. celebrating the fact that it's an upcycled piece of what you would normally discard mm -hmm. and like going with it. So doing a, not a banner, what do they call those? Those things with, um, are those called banners? Aren't they? Uh, bunting? Do they I call it bunting? Something like that. Uh, but you could do a word. That would a, be fun. A, and yeah, string it across. I like that idea. That would be very, that would be very cute. cute. You could do letters mm -hmm. on each one and stuff. Totally cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining yeah. us and putting up with our shenanigans yeah. and helping us figure out if it will work or not. Exactly. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Can you keep a secret? A story of the stars. We'll dream until the morning comes around. That was a super fun intro. It was awesome. Right? Totally right.